I'm just going to talk you through the use of elevation data um, inside ArcMap. This is both the management of the data and also how we analyze and present the data in different ways. Um, there are various tools inside ArcMap that can help us do this. So I've already created a geo database ready to um, hold all my data. And I've also gone and downloaded the elevation data from the Digimap website. Um, so I'm now ready to start organizing it and managing it inside my geo database. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new raster data set to hold all of the different raster data sets um, that I've downloaded from Digimap. So there's a couple of things I need to fill in here. So I need to first of all um, give the um, uh, file name. Then I need to set the um, pixel type here, um, and I know the original raster datasets have a pixel type of 32-bit um, unsigned, so I'm going to set that. I'm also going to set the spatial reference here as well, uh, which is British National Grid. And then I'm going to select OK to create the raster dataset which will be empty initially and then I'm going to bring the raster data sets into it just waiting for the confirmation so there we go so that's the empty raster data set um, and now I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to load data into it so I'm now going to input some raster data sets in there So I can just add, I'm going to go to the um, original data where I downloaded them to, and they're in here, so they're not in there actually, they're in there. So I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to add them all, uh, and then I'm going to click OK. And now we're just waiting for the um, catalog software to mosaic them all together into one complete data set. And the reason we need to do this is because some of the processing we do um, has to be done when they're all completely joined into one um, data set. So it's now completed that task. I can just click here and preview the merged data. So there we go. We've got all the data merged together into one bigger data set. So we're now ready to bring this into ArcMap um, to do some processing of the data. So first thing I'm going to do is load up ArcMap. Um, so I just want a blank map. So I'm now going to go to my geo database. And then I can just simply drag all of that elevation data straight in. And of course, as you can see at the moment, it's not particularly meaningful. Um, we can change the way we color it over here by changing different color ramp. Um, Again, it's showing areas of high and low relief. Um, and if we want to just be sure about that, we can actually go into the identify and we can click. Um, and it's showing each individual pixel has a pixel value, which is again showing the height. And as I move to these lighter areas, you'll notice that the pixel value goes up to a much higher number. Um, and again, it varies across the entire image. So, I'm just going to put that back to um, to grey to start with. So there we go, that's the starting point. So we we can now run various processes on this data. We can process the data in different ways to present it in different ways as well. And try and maximise the information that we get out of it to make it a little bit more user friendly and a bit more visually interesting. Um, for this, um, we don't need the catalogue, so I'm just going to close the catalogue down for now and make a bit more room. 
um, and I'm going to open up the Arc Toolbox. And we're going to use various tools inside here and we're going to actually go down to the Spatial Analyst tool. Um, and we're going to be looking, this is a surface um, model, so we're going to be doing some an analysis of the surface. So we've got various tools under the surface option here that we can um, run on this piece of data. Um, if you have any problems getting any of these particular um, functions to work, you may well have to go up here and go to the customize menu and just make sure that your extensions are switched on. Um, and we want to make sure that the spatial analyst extension is switched on. And if these are not working down here, that's because you don't have this ticked on this menu. Um, the first thing we're going to do is run a slope analysis on here. So again, we double click down here. Um, and again, we get this pop-up window. Um, so we have an input raster. So if we just click the drop down, it will give us a choice of whatever layers are in our particular current map view, which is the only one. Um, and for all of these processes, we're always going to be using the original data. Then we have to um, create an output raster because um, every time we do this, it's going to be non-destructive. It's creating a new layer and it needs to put that layer somewhere. So we're going to put it back into our geodatabase. Um, so I'm just going to call it slope and then simply save and OK. And it will now run the slope analysis and then it will create a new layer and put that inside the geo database when it's complete. So there we go, it's created a slope analysis. Um, and what it's really showing us is areas of, of low or, or virtually no slope at all, um, right up to very steep slopes here. So these are above. And these are in degrees, don't forget. Um, so the first one is 0 degrees to 3 degrees and 3 to 9 degrees, etc, etc. So um, the red coloration on the map here is showing slopes of over 50, well, of slopes between 50 and 79 degrees. So the very steepest slopes there. And again, we can change the way we um, color this data too. Um, so we can actually go in, double tap. Uh, the layer and we come up with the layer properties and we can go over to symbology um, and we can change it to a stretched view instead and again we could do that uh, green to red as a choice um, and then we simply click apply so again it's kind of giving us a similar view to what we had before um, so there's there's different ways of presenting the data um, or we could go in and just simply um, give it a grey coloration. So you can see again there the white areas are the steepest areas. So you know you can play around with the data. Um, let's take, stick with our green or orange to red. So you can see immediately very steep areas here, very steep areas around here as well. Um, so that's our slope information. So we're going to run um, another tool on this data. Um, we're going to do the hill shade. Input again is the original one, which is the um, topo data. And then again, an output. So we're going to make sure we save it back to our geo database. And this is hill shade. Simply going to OK that, accepting the defaults, and it again will run through the process. Uh, it will create a new layer, and now it will add that new layer um, to our current view, and it will also insert that inside the geo database all at the same time. So again, it's giving you a, th a slightly more three-dimensional view of the area, um, and this is all based on the original elevation data results so it's done some clever processing of that original data and come up with this more three-dimensional view of the land surface of this particular area. Um, so the final um, piece of analysis we're going to do to this data is we're going to run an aspect tool now um, again choosing the same 
input and then we're going to do another output back to the um, geo database so this is going to do aspect simply click OK and it should now run the model and it will add the layer to our table of contents in the map view here and we'll also insert the file into the geo database when it's completed and there we go we've got a model and then this is again showing the aspect or at least the direction of the different slopes um, in this particular area and again we're these are the um, degrees here um, as we go down through the coloration so if we look at what we just created so we've created the aspect we've also got the hill shade and we've also got slope analysis as well so if we combine the slope analysis <coughs> and the hill shade together in the same composite image we can start to um, get a better idea about what's going on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly um, transparent this layer so I'm just going to pop it a little bit transparent and what that's starting to do is it's starting to give us the ability to look through that and then see the layer beneath now I can change the coloration of this one and instead of being grey I might just put it to a slightly bluer colour just so that it gives us some definition as to what's going on beneath so we've got a bit of blue tint just coming through so again it's just kind of helping to highlight those very very steep slopes um, and if we zoom in again we'll kind of pick that up a bit more clearly uh, if we just zoom into an area over here so we can start to see where the steepest slopes are there but what we've done is combined um, both the hill shade and the aspect together or sorry the hill shade and the slope together to give us this kind of composite image and um, which you can see you know when you start to look at this detailed level gives you a really clear view of, of the topographic features of a particular area of landscape um, so that's the sort of processing and the management of um, this elevation data to generate kind of interesting topographic um, mapping inside ArcMap.